everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video as you could see it already from the thumbnail today we're going to turn the barbie doll into james charles and i had an idea of this transformation already for a very long time in my mind and the only reason why i didn't make it before was because hexton was a little bit faster than me and he has presented his doll version of james charles already a couple of months ago and normally i don't really repeat concepts and ideas and projects of other artists i don't know that's why i don't really make mermaids dolls what else is there sculpted horns tails everybody makes it so i don't want to repeat it but then i thought but this is probably normal that such a talented and creative artist like james inspires other artists doll artists makeup artists all kinds of artists to create their own pieces of art so let's do it today and normally the plan was that I would sit here with his palette in my hands and to say look guys today we're going to recreate this look from his Unleash Your Inner Artist palette but unfortunately this palette is out of stock since the beginning of times so and never got a notification that it was back to stock and that's why I will show you the reference picture here somewhere on the top of the screen Yes, today we are going to turn a big Barbie doll hat into this iconic look from his new palette that was sold out probably in three days and never came back and we are all waiting for it. So, let's keep it short, I'm already talking here for a very long time. What else I want to say? If you haven't watched the makeover Barbie to James Charles made by Hextian, please check his video as well. I will post the link here down below. If you suddenly don't know who James Charles is, the sister James, the link will be also here in the description box. And also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and of course put your like in the end of this video if you enjoyed it. And now let's start the transformation. I was doubting for a while which doll to choose for this makeover. Look, this one is in one hand cute in the same way like Sister James. But on another hand this doll is smiling and on this palette picture he looks serious. And this smiling face expression I will not be able to change. The second doll looks completely different than James Charles, but she has no goofy Barbie smile, no smiling lines, so I think I will continue with this one. This type of a doll with lots of useless accessories and even with a hairdryer you've seen already a couple of times on my channel. And her most recent appearance was as an ice queen in the beginning of December. And today we are going for a completely different look. But first I need to remove her original makeup with pure acetone. James has very full lips and our doll's lips are very thin. So I'm going to change this right now using my new epoxy sculpt.
This is what I've got in the end. Looks, of course, quite weird right now, but I think it will look really good in the end. But right now I need to let it dry for 24 hours and then I spray the face with three layers of the sealant. If you watched my doll makeover a week ago, you know that I've bought a new airbrush for Christmas and right now I'm experimenting with the Liquitex sealant instead of my trustworthy Mr. Super Clear. Then with a very sharp watercolor pencil in a Caput Mortum color, I sketch the eyes and eyebrows. And I make just a very raw sketch to be able to do shadowing on the next step of the makeover. And then I take my airbrush and I contour the future Sister James face. I've watched the tutorial on James makeup a couple of times and I have chosen a bunch of pencils matching the colors of the eyeshadows that he was using for his look. You can see I have a complete rainbow here and even more. So first I need to make the pencils very sharp and then I'm going to follow the James Charles tutorial and first create the background layer. If I apply soft pastel straight on the doll's face, they will look too pale and transparent, so the pencil background is kinda needed here. To the inner corners of the eyes, I add very sunny and juicy yellow. To the middle of the eyelids, I apply a red color, and this shade is extremely bright in the Sister James palette, so I want to make it at least a little bit as bright as the original. After this step, in James' original tutorial, he cuts the crease with a white concealer. But in my case, I still need to apply a couple of layers of colorful pastels to complete the look, and this white cut crease area will just become dirty before we start working on it. So I will twist the steps a little bit, and now I'm going to work on the bottom eyelids using dark purple, intense blue, and bright green colors. This layer I sprayed with the sealant and while it's drying, I'm preparing the soft pastels of the same bold rainbow colors like the pencils that I've just used. And then I need to repeat all the steps of the previous layer again, but this time with soft pastels, to make all the colors deeper and brighter. This step I needed to repeat two more times, protecting my work with the sealant between the layers. And you can see the difference now. And now I can finally cut the crease. I also make the eyes a little bit bigger by pulling the inner corners of the eyes a little bit down with the same white pencil. Then I connect the purple and the white color through the blue, making some sort of a gradient from dark to very light blue color. At this point I can stop working on the makeup and start drawing the eyes and the eyebrows. Using a brown pencil, I draw the nostrils and then also slightly contour the nose with soft pastels.
After this I draw the bottom eyelashes and the eyeliner with a very sharp black pencil. With the white pencil I draw the most highlighted spots on the face, the same like on the reference picture. Now I can stop drawing and start painting the body and partially the face with white paint. I draw the areas that should be painted, protect the rest with a special tape and then I cover the face with a couple of layers of white acrylic paint. Now let's finally remove the tape. Yeah, and it looks really good, I think. I just want to take some more of this white paint and make the edges not that straight cut, but more like with a brushed effect. And I also add a stroke of paint to the middle of her nose. And now is the most challenging part of the makeover, the hairstyle. And honestly, I was looking up against it till the very end because I really don't know how to make the short hair on the sides. If I cut hair that short, it will look like some rubber bald hat with three rows of hair. It will look very poor. If I remove hair completely and just paint it dark, it will still look like a painted rubber bolt head with holes in it. So I have decided to go a little bit more creative way. I will remove the hair from the sides to the back and make it very flat with the hairspray. Then the rest of the hair I will pull up, cut short and style it in the way James does. And then I color the doll's hair with black acrylics. I think it's gonna look good in the end. So now is the moment of truth, let's remove the protection and it looks really good, look, just the hairline looks a little bit off, so let's correct it with pencils and black acrylic paint. Now let's go back to the makeup tutorial and I still need to add silver glitter to the white part of the eyelids and spread it nicely around. I remove the rest of the loose glitter from the face with the gum and then on top I glue a couple of pieces of more chunky glitter, exactly like in Sister James' tutorial. Then I attach the false lashes and it seems I forgotten to add reflections to the irises with white acrylic paint, but never mind, it's never too late to do it. And on this picture the reflections are just like two dots in the middle of the iris, so let's do the same. And the only thing I still need to do is to add glossy varnish to the eyes. And let's take a look at the end result. And Sister James is here! Hello, sisters! I think my doll version looks pretty close to the original picture on the palette. What do you think? 
And I cannot really hope, of course, that James would ever be able to see this video. I can imagine an amount of dedicated content he gets every day. But let's try at least. Let's try to make him see it here or on Instagram. So please, tell me what you think about this makeover in the comment and tag our sister James there. I'm quite realistic about the chances to get seen by the original model of this makeover. But you know, after Huda Katan, you know, the Huda from Huda Beauty, has reposted one of my repaints some weeks ago on her Instagram, I've started to believe in miracles in this world. So please support my art with your likes, tag James Charles in your comments, check if you're subscribed to my channel, set the bell on, I post new doll makeovers every week Friday, and already the next week I'm going to complete my first serious body modification. If you've seen on Instagram how I've spent the Christmas day, you know what I mean. And that was it for today. I wish you the very best and a very fun weekend, have fun guys, and I will see you back already very soon, bye!